My name is Elias Lobin. I'm an expert and dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called trustedcoins.com. There you have access to over 6,800 items that I have available for sale at the time of the making of this film. Every item I sell comes complete with a beautiful, professionally done certificate of authenticity. The certificate of authenticity provides you with a lifetime guarantee of authenticity. My signature also, I've identified over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts over the years. Uh, and I'm known worldwide as the expert. I, every coin that I sell comes in a professional numismatic flip. The numismatic flip allows you to um, look at the front of the coin and the back of the coin without taking out the protective covering. And it has a shortened description with a number that matches the certificate. So you can take this part off, carry it around with your wallet, place it separately from the certificate. The certificate has a professional description uh, that many times cites a professional numismatic library or collection. And on the back you have the historical uh, context of the item you have purchased. So this way if you're a brand new collector or if you're giving this as a gift, somebody that has never seen an ancient coin before, they could read up all about the coin that you have given as a gift or I believe this to be a fantastic investment. In my belief this is probably the best one out there because most people don't know ancient coins exist. So you may want to check my site out, trustedcoins.com. Today I'm going to be discussing the ancient Roman Greek, Greek god of Janus. I would say he's more Roman but you know he's been depicted in Greek coins so Janus is the two-headed god. He is um, you know, depicted in many Roman coins. I have uh, coins with Janus of them, of course, you may want to check those out. On many Greek, Roman, Republic, Roman and medieval coins, you can see the image of Janus, the god with the two faces. In ancient Greek, Roman, Republic and Roman religion and mythology, Janus is the god of beginnings and transitions, gates, doors, doorways, endings, and time. His name expressing the idea of going, passing, formed on the route. Janus frequently symbolized change and transition, such as the progress of future to past, from one condition to another, from one vision to another, and young people's growth to adulthood. He was, he was represented at the time because he could see into the past with one face and into the future with the other. Janus is worshipped at the beginnings of the harvest and planting times, as well as at marriages, deaths, and other beginnings. He represented the middle ground between barbarism and civilization, rural and urban, youth and adulthood. In in the Roman pantheon, he was invoked uh, together with Jupiter. In the Roman calendar, the first uh, month named Janarius after Janus, according to the tradition considered the highest divinity at the time. A temple of Janus has been consecrated by the consul Gaius Dulius in 260 BCE after the Battle of Mylae in the Forum Halitorum. It contained a statue of the god with the bright hand showing the number 300 and the left uh, the number 65, i.e. the length of days in the solar year, the 12 altars, one for each month. The four-sided structure known as the Arch of Janus in the Forum Transitorium dates from the 1st century CE, was built by the Emperor Domitian and was completed and inaugurated by Emperor Nerva in 96 CE. His presence was uh, fragmented. Uh, apart from the rites of solemnizing the beginning of the new year of every month and every day, mornings belonged to Janus. Men started their daily activities and business. There was also special times of of the year which marked the beginnings and closing of the military season in March and October respectively. Janus was also involved in spatial transitions presiding over home doors, city gates and boundaries. In Augustan ideology Janus symbolic meaning has been strongly emphasized. In accord with the fundamental character of being the beginner Janus was considered by the Romans the first king of Latium. He was also received hospitably 
uh, god Saturn. His temple named Janus Geminus had to stand open at times of war. It was said to have been built by King Numa Pompilius, who kept it always shut during his reign as there was no wars. After him it was closed very few times. One after the end of the First Punic War, three times under Augustus, and once by Nero. It is recorded that Emperor Gordian III opened the Janus Geminus. The relationship between Janus and Juno is defined by the closeness of the notions of beginnings and transition and the functions of conception and delivery, result of youth and vital force. Mars Tranquilius, peaceful Mars, protector of peace who was never armed, was connected with Janus, god of gates, because Janus has a function as protector of the civil community. The relationship between Janus and Vesta based on myth, while Janus has the first place, Vesta has the last, both in theology and in ritual. La Ionus Primus Vesta Extrema. Vesta is the goddess of the earth and homes as well as of the city. In the Middle Ages, Janus was also taken on as a symbol of Genoa, whose medieval Latin name was Ioana. Iane. So, Visit my site, trustedcoins.com, for authentic ancient coins depicting Janus and other gods. Thank you.